you know what you need to do. Oh what? When it gets cold, we need to come out here. Dude! Oh my god! Dude! Dude, that's a giant. What's going on guys? Welcome to another video out here on the Lake of Chance. He just got his boat back, so we're out here. We're about to do some fishing. Water clarity is just insane. And today I want to do a challenge. You know, I was looking. I went to Bass, or not Bass Pro, Dick Sporting Goods and grabbed a lot of baits. And one thing I did grab was um, a rat. So I'm going to be try, trying out that Savage Gear little rat and seeing if we can catch a few fish on that. If we don't catch any fish on that, you know, we're going to go out here. We're still going to have a good time and um, fish all in all. But I at least want to catch one fish on that rat. I mean, it's super hot out here. I just might throw it along this grass. You know, we're gonna try a couple different things. And um, like I said, if that doesn't work, we're just gonna have some fun, throw some regular baits, and just hopefully whack a lot of fish. So let's go ahead and get this video started. Dang, that's pretty good. Oh. Oh my God, look at that thing, dude. Oh my God. Dude, you can't say one ain't gonna smash that. Probably will. Honestly, oh my god, dude. Will. I promise you I'll catch one on this thing. That's no doubt in my mind. That just blows my mind how it's still that clear. When you get home. Dang, you see your damn bait. Mile away. You know what I need to do. Oh, what? When it gets cold. We need to come out dude. here. Dude! Oh my god! Dude! Dude, that's a giant. <laughs> I thought it was moving. Grab that thing. Grab that thing. <laughs> dude! <laughs> Only you, man. Only you. Oh my god. Do you understand I was in the grass right there? Was the camera on? Yeah, it's on, ain't it? Yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, it's on. Ten minutes in. Dude, that's crazy. That is crazy. He's in that grass. Yeah. My bait was in the grass and I hit started. You know when I was like, what the heck? Or what whatever I just said. You see how I was running? <laughs> Dude, that's a big head. There you go guys. Look at this pig. God, that's a good one. Release her. There she goes. Did you see that? What? One just chased me right there. Touching. What up in there? When are you going back to it? Oh my god! Dude, that was the craziest thing ever. I can't even keep him pinned. He came up and ate it. I was stuck on the thing. He ain't that big. Ain't two pounds. Yeah. <laughs> Look how bad that hook got him, dude. Dude, it was right. <laughs> I cast it right up on that edge, and my gra and my bait was stuck on the grass. I was wiggling, and came up and just scooped it up. Look how green they are, just because of them living up in that grass. Look how dark that guy is living in that grass. Mm -hmm. Look how dark. It's like a Florida bass, dude. That's what's biting me the whole time, dude. <laughs> Look at that. He actually got it, too. Look how far the hook is down his mouth. Jesus, guys. Look how big this guy is. It's actually very tough out today. I didn't think it was going to be this tough. I thought I was going to be able to throw that rat, but I'm just sticking to this little Texas rig, flipping it around this grass and trees. Look how tiny that, that guy is right there. There you go. 
Is that first cast on it? Yeah. There you go. Heck yeah. I'm surprised we can't see these fish, dude. It's so clear. Wow. <laughs> Same song. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Never felt them, dude. I never felt that fish. He came off? Yeah, he came off. He wasn't big. Never felt that fish, though. I uh, just saw my line moving. Here in the back of the boat. That was freaking bizarre, dude. Ooh. What is up with these tiny ones? I was like hopping that too and he ate it. That's insane. There he is. <laughs> He's a mile away, dude. How did he not come off? Dude, he's literally a mile away. I casted this thing way out there. <laughs> Look at that, guys, right there. I had this thing rattle trap way out there, and this guy ate it. Watch this, guys. I'm going to show you something. This old Concept A right here. Got on a fate black. Right there, man. That's how you pair a little bank from far away. Just eating this rattle trap on the edge of this grass. I was tired of slowing down. I was tired of flipping that crawl. I just had to pick up this thing and start covering some water. Tell me how. You got him. <laughs> Tiny guy. All right, guys, it's actually the day later from when we were catching those fish on that lake. And I kind of wanted to talk about, you know, the baits I was throwing, also the rod and reel setups I was using. So since I'm new to, you know, 13 fishing, I wanted to give you guys my input of what I thought about the rods and reels. You know, pretty much like the first day I went out, you know, solid 13 fishing and actually threw all the rods, you know, this, this day of fishing. So, um... This rod right here, I was actually throwing a little crawl, this little Texas rig. I actually have the weight pegged as well. This is just a little Berkeley, uh, Berkeley crawl. And it's on a 7.3 medium heavy, and this is the Muse series. This is the Muse Black by 13 Fishing. And it's also on a Concept A. And this reel is also a Concept A. This one is an 8 1 to 1 gear ratio. This one is a 6 6 to 1 gear ratio. And I'm very pleased with these reels. They cast it phenomenally, they cast it very far. Um, this rod was actually very sensitive as well. And um, by the way, the line on this Texas rod got 15 pounds. But onto this one, this concept, they casting this rattle trap on this uh, medium fast rod. This is some 7-1 medium. And this is the, you know, the, the new rod right here. I mean, look at the green guys, look at this. Look at this, this is insane. This is the Fate Black, the green, the green bad boy. But, um, so the bait I was throwing on this was just a rattle trap on 12 pound fluorocarbon. And this thing right here, guys, this, this reel was casting this rattle trap so far that I was almost unspooling the reel. And I, I'm not kidding. I have, I'm sure I played a few clips in the video where I was casting. It was just crazy how far I was casting this bait. And I caught a big one on it as well. So it was pretty great. Um, but I just want to kind of go through, you know, what my experience was with these rods and reels the first time I went out there and used them. And overall, I like the reels are casting super far, super smooth as always. And um, they just felt really great. And both of the reels I was using were Concept A's. Um, one was an eight to one, eight one to one gear ratio. One was a six, six to one gear ratio. And personal preference, I like a higher gear ratio reel, you know, uh, seven one to one and above. And this eight one to one was awesome. Because me personally, when I'm using a reel, I can adjust, you know, if I'm needing to move a bait really slow, I can adjust that in my hand. Some people get a little hyper and they start reeling. But me personally, I like a fast gear to rate, gear, fast gear ratio reel that I can use and I can just adjust it as I'm fishing and use it with any bait that I have. So um definitely this A1 to one concept A that I was using was just just spot on for like my personal preference. It was great. But overall guys I just want to show you guys some of these rods and reels. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry I didn't get to get the rat footage but I will be doing a challenge here soon where I'm actually throwing that bad boy. The fishing was already tough out there so we had to adjust the situation and throw whatever we had to throw to catch those fish and they were just not going to eat that rat that day. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for the support. Be sure to like the video, comment below, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Yeah, yeah, honestly I 
think that 24-7 an understatement to my day-to-day. If ain't no way, then I'ma make a way. They said, said, ain't no way.